Step inside and be swept away by the world of luxury villa rentals. Welcome to Travel Tuesday with Teresa, the ultimate source of wanderlust inspiration. Join the journey led by your host, Teresa Belcher, founder of Honeymoon Islands. Hi, I'm Teresa Belcher, founder of Honeymoon Islands, your host today, and we're going to showcase the private villa rental experiences all over the globe, whether you want a beachfront villa or a countryside European escape, we have that for you today. And I'm excited because I've partnered with one of the most trusted villa rental experiences in the travel industry. It's called Villa of Distinction. And my co-host today is Steve Lastman. Welcome to the show, Steve. Thank you so much, Teresa. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm looking forward to your presentation. So if you want to share your screen, you can um, educate us about what a villa rental experiences are and what kind of services people will get and um, all of that. So it's over to you. All right. I am going to take myself off video for the time being, just so nobody can get distracted by my little head in the corner there, Teresa. So again, thank you for having me today. I, as you know, Teresa, because we've spoken before, I love what I do and I love sharing this, not only with the travel advisors who are our most important um, asset, but obviously with your clients so that I can talk to them about what a great vacation experience a, a villa would be through Honeymoon Islands. So again, my name is Steve Lassman. I am vice president at Villas of Distinction. And here we go. So I always like to start here, everybody. Just clear your minds. Imagine yourself at this beautiful Aquilara Villa in Le Como, Italy. This is where we'll start. Just picture yourself here and then listen to me while we talk about this incredible product. So our commitment to Teresa and Honeymoon Islands and their guests and why Teresa uses us. So we have been celebrating and working with travel advisors for over 35 years. Travel advisors have trusted us with their clients and your valuable vacation time. Now we have four guiding principles that we live by. The number one principle, which should light up your eyes when I say it is guest first. Everything we do is through the lens of our guest and how your experience is impacted by everything that happens at the villa and at the destination. We'd never look through the lens of our own pocketbook because when you look through the lens of your own pocketbook, you may not have the best interest of the guest at heart. That is why we always put our guest first. We are very different from everybody else that's in the industry. We don't want to have the most luxury villas. We just want to have the best luxury villas, which I'll talk about all of these more in a moment. We want to provide you with a remarkable guest experience. It's very important, especially in this world, to know that our financial stability, we are financially bonded and insured. We're one of the only villa companies in existence that is. And we also carry and are one of the only companies that has $5 million in cybersecurity protection as well. But being that we put every, our guests first, we stand behind everything we sell, 24-7 customer care. Just ask Teresa, your travel advisor. Make sure while we're going through this, check out the pictures. This incredible villa embrace in St. Bart's is amazing. If you've been to St. Bart's and you know St. Bart's, and you know Gustavia and the beautiful harbor, or if you've been on a cruise ship and you've come into St. Bart's um, through Gustavia, this villa sits up in the hills and you have that gorgeous view of the sun setting over the harbor of Gustavia. That is an incredible experience. So the difference is distinction. And I wanna talk about this because we offer a fully curated product and it is about the experience. So picture yourself at this beautiful Villa Ria Grande in Tuscany in the Chianti classical winemaking region. This beautiful villa sits in the middle of a working vineyard and a working olive grove. So if you're a, if you're a guest that wants to work with Teresa to say, I want a great wine experience, this would be the perfect spot. Also, what I love this villa for as well is tailoring it with, if you're active, 
this is a great villa to do some bicycle exploring. And all of the things we talk about, Teresa and I together can put together for you. It's a one-stop shop for you. And this is why you want to use a travel advisor like Teresa. You come to Teresa, you say, hey, I love wine. My friends love wine. We want an Italian wine experience, but we also want this, 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 and this. You don't have to stress. You don't have to search all over the internet. Working together, we will create that remarkable experience for you that will be tailor-made just for you. And what the beauty of all this is, while we vet every villa, which I'm going to talk about in a moment, we also vet all of the services that we give you so that we can ensure that you're going to have the best value and the best time possible. Or one of my favorite things is to go to um, the Palo di Siena. Um, this is an, the Palio di Siena. This is a, an event that happens every summer. It's twice a summer. And it's a, just an incredible event filled with all the pomp and circumstances of a centuries old famous horse race that runs through um, the, the main um, piazza in, in Siena. And we have a private box that we can provide you for. So you're not standing, as you see in this picture in the upper left-hand corner, you're not standing in the crowded, crowded area, squeezing to see what you can see. Look at the people that are up in the private boxes. We can do that for you with Teresa as well. Well, maybe you just want to go to the Caribbean and celebrate grandma's 95th birthday. We can do that too. Bring in a live reggae band, fresh seafood, a full staff, whatever it is you want, we can create that amazing experience for your guest. Or how about whale watching um, in Punta Mita, Mexico, along with a beautiful tequila tasting. And maybe you want in-spa treatments in the villa. We can provide all of this for you because again, it's about the experience. Many companies talk about themselves being a villa broker or being a villa rental company. Well, Together with Teresa, we are a villa experience company. And that's where it starts. It starts with the personal concierge. And the concierge is there to help you live the dream that you have for your villa experience. So just tell us what it is. You know, you want, you know, private, uh, private cooking classes, um, a private so sommelier to come in and do a wine tasting, the tequila tasting. You want you love cigars and you're in the Dominican Republic, we can bring a fresh cigar roller and he'll roll you fresh cigars. You name it, you dream it. Together with Teresa, we can create that experience for you. Now, people sometimes say, well, I'm not really sure, you know, if I should travel to a villa. How do I start? Well, the two best ways to think about this are, number one, celebration travel. If you're celebrating something, whether it's a milestone birthday, milestone anniversary, celebrating a health event, small weddings, large weddings, we can help you with Teresa to create these experiences that are very, very private. So you could do this at a resort. You could do this on a cruise ship, but you're not going to have the privacy that you would have at a villa and the services that we can put together I truly believe cannot be matched, especially by a cruise ship or even by a resort where you're going to be celebrating with thousands of other people, whereas at a villa, you're just celebrating with the people you've invited. So one of the great villas that we offer is these four haciendas. Each one of them sits on a beautiful stretch of beach, beach in Riviera Maya down in Porto Aventuras. They're one right next to the other. So if you have a large group or a large wedding, all four of these villas together is 51 bedrooms. So you can have privacy for up to 102 people and the grounds are so large, you can do a wedding for up to 200 people or you wanna do a family reunion. You wanna do a, a celebration of a birthday. Again, you can rent one, two, three, or all four. And every one of them is fully staffed with a chef, a butler, a laundress, a pool man, you've got everything. Now, another way to look at it is family travel, multi-gen families, large families going away, multiple families and friends. And this beautiful estate in Turks and Caicos is a perfect spot once again, or one our top seller 
is the Arrecife Luxury Estate in the Dominican Republic, which is three villas. And once again, you can rent one, you can rent two, or you can rent all three. If you rent all three, that's thir three villas, 13 bedrooms that can accommodate up to 30 guests. And they're all, again, fully staffed. We can work with Teresa to create whatever experience you want to have. So these are a couple of ways that you can start with a villa. And even if you're not doing a family getaway or a celebration, if you're going to go away with friends or family and have more than two bedrooms, a villa is going to be a better value for you when you start getting into three bedrooms, four bedrooms. And the best part is when you're staying in a resort or you're staying on a cruise, everybody goes to bed and that's it because there's really no place to hang out. Here you have your own private pool to hang out. Here you have a living room to hang out, a theater room. So there's so many places for people to just gather and celebrate in privacy. So let me help you understand the difference between these do-it-yourself sites that you see online like Airbnb, VRBO, HomeAway, and using somebody like Teresa and Villas of Distinction because there are very distinct differences. Number one is inventory size. So as I mentioned earlier, we don't want to have the most villas. We just want to have the best villas. So we have a very small curated inventory of about 3,800 villas as compared to Airbnb, who just hit 7.7 .7 million villas. Now let's talk about the quality standard. So at thir with 3,800 villas, we vet, inspect, and guarantee the quality of every single one of those villas. I will tell you at Airbnb and these do-it-yourself sites, they don't even hide the fact that they've never stepped foot in a single home. Do you want to put your hard-earned money and your hard-earned trust into a homeowner or into a company that's never even stepped foot in one of their villas? Or would you rather work with someone like Teresa who wants to put you in the best possible place and to have the best experience with a company like Villas of Distinction that vets everything we sell. Now, even more importantly, and I'm kind of segueing into this, we work in concert with the travel advisor. Well, what does that mean? That means we both have one thing and one thing only that we're striving to meet, and that is to create a remarkable experience for you, the guest. Teresa and I are not beholden to a homeowner. We're not beholden to a particular villa. We are only beholden to you. You are our number one priority. Now, let's flip that and let's go to Airbnb. Whose best interest does the homeowner have at heart? Does he have your best interest or does he have his own best interest? Or does he have a little bit of both? You know he wants to fill his calendar. He's not going to say to you, well, I don't think that ho my home is right for you. Teresa and I will, because we're going to know exactly what you want. So it's a total misconnect when you're dealing direct with a, with a homeowner versus dealing with Teresa, a professional travel advisor. Because again, their best interest might not be your best interest, where Teresa and my best interest is your best interest. Now let's talk about the experience. I highlighted in the beginning all of the concierge services that we offer. It's about what you want, not about a list of things like Airbnb and some of these others will offer and you pick off that list. Do you want to have total flexibility or do you want to be subject to here's what we can offer? I don't know. I think I'd rather have total flexibility so that I can create the experience that I want, not the experience that someone tells me I might want. Now let's talk customer service. We offer 24-7 customer care with a phone line that you can reach 24-7, and we have people on the ground in every destination we serve. So if you're ever in distress or you ever need anything, there's always someone for you and Teresa to call. Now, when you work with these do-it-yourself sites, who are you calling? Are you calling the homeowner? Are they going to answer at two in the morning? Are they going to respond to you? It's just so many ifs. Again, working with your travel advisor, this is the best bet. Now let's talk financial integrity. As I mentioned, we are one of the only villa companies that is bonded and insured and also carries $5 million cybersecurity protection. 
What financial integrity and promises do you have when you pay a homeowner? I'm going to give you a real life example. In 2017, when the hurricanes hit the Caribbean, everyone's answer, including Airbnb, HomeAway, and all of these do-it-yourself sites was, do you have insurance? File a claim. If you don't have insurance, you should have had insurance. So you would have lost your investment. At Villas of Distinction, we had your back with your travel advisor. We gave everyone that booked with us that was impacted by these hurricanes a full credit to travel anywhere else in the world, irregardless of the insurance. And if you had insurance, we didn't make you pay for it again. We transferred it to the new booking. That is financial integrity, and that is taking care of you as a guest. Now, that's enough about who we are and why you should use Teresa. Let's talk about the best part of why we're here today. Let's talk about the destinations and the villas. And I want to briefly take you on a tour of some of our product. So I'm going to start with the number one requested destination in the world for villas, and that is Italy. And this is a beautiful view from Villa Dorada outside, it's and not outside, but up in the hills of Positano. Look at that incredible view. I've actually fallen asleep in those uh, big chairs. They are so comfortable over there in the far back, um, just watching the sun go down in Positano. Amazing. But let's talk about our Italy product a little bit more. They are very different because you have Tuscany, you have the lakes, you have the Amalfi, you have Sicily, you have Apulia, you have so many different areas. We carefully select the properties that will embody the best of each area that we offer. We have very strict standards and, and quality uh, comfort standards as well. So as I mentioned, everything is vetted, everything is inspected. Right now, even as we speak today, April 16th, 2024, I have a team of 10 people currently in Italy doing exactly this, vetting the product for the upcoming Italian season to make sure that we can guarantee that you have an incredible experience. Now, with our Italy product, and this is important when you're comparing, all of our Italy villas will have air conditioning. They will have private swimming pools, high-end toiletries, linens, towels, good internet, English-speaking hosts, amazing locations, and gorgeous homes. Now, as I mentioned also, we can arrange just about anything you want to tailor make the experience for you when you travel with us to Italy. So as I mentioned, the four key areas in Italy for villa rentals are Tuscany, the Amalfi Coast, Sicily, and Lake Como. And what people will do, because generally speaking during high season, which is mid-April to mid-October, you need to understand that villa rentals in Italy are Saturday to Saturday, seven night stays. People will use their villa as kind of like their home base and do day trips. So if you're in Tuscany, you may do a day trip to San Gimignano. Maybe you'll do a day trip down to Siena. Maybe you'll do a day trip up to Florence. Same thing in, on the Amalfi. You'll, we'll rent a yacht for you and you'll go up and down the Amalfi. If you're staying in Sorrento, maybe you'll go to Capri one day, or maybe you'll go down to Nerano or to Positano. So again, so much you can do when you're staying in a villa in Italy. Now let's look at a couple of our villas. So Lake Como, and I could picture myself there right now. Absolutely stunning. Splendor is a nine bedroom villa right on the water. Absolutely stunning. Sleeping 14 plus four children. As you can see, classic Italian style. Absolutely beautiful. This is what you're going for. You want a lot of airiness. You want a lot of window, a lot of light. Um, but what you also want is you want to be in a good location. You are walking distance to town. You are direct access to the water. And of course, for you that want, there's a private gym and you can have your own private boat come up because we do have a dock and buoy for you to dock at. So running along quickly, Tuscany, the rolling hills of Tuscany. And one of my favorite villas there is Paterosa. Paterosa is a nine bedroom that will sleep up to 14 people. And again, you'll see very classic Italian. This is kind of countryside style, but the best part of Paterosa is your alfresco dining. Imagine having your chef prepared meal 
in this beautiful garden with the fresh vegetables being picked right by your table side and prepared for you. Now you see that there's a beautiful outdoor pool. There is also a beautiful indoor pool at this beautiful villa. So you could also go here during um, the off season because of the indoor pool. So again, great location, beautiful villa, and just an amazing amount of amenities. Now, one of my favorites is the Amalfi Coast. I like Sorrento, but that's my own personal thing. There's nothing, nothing bad about going to Positano. And one of my favorite villas is Villa Giulia, which is a six bedroom that overlooks the beauty of what's Positano. Now, if you drive into Positano, this will be right as you see the sign that says Positano right there on the right. This villa actually has parking for two cars. Parking in the Amalfi Coast is a definitely a premium, especially in Positano. Um, this villa has 52 steps to get from the parking level up to the main door. Again, great reason why you'd want to use Teresa and Villas of Distinction. We're going to share that information with you. So in case you had somebody with mobility issues, this would not be a great villa for you. But again, you'll see beautifully appointed um, villa. This also has an indoor pool as well and a spa area with a hot tub. Now, one of, this, one of the other very popular areas this year is Hawaii, and we all know why. Absolutely stunning. We have villas throughout most of the islands within Hawaii. We have over 300 villas from one to nine bedrooms, Honolulu, Maui, Big Island, and Kauai. And honestly, you can get a small villa from $167, that's right, all the way up to $13,000 a night, depending upon the season. So let me share a couple of homes with you. Banyan House in Oahu is an eight bedroom right on the water, sleep 16, absolute stunner. It's located near Diamond Head. So you can see Diamond Head when you're out um, uh, um, on the outside of this area. 14,000 square feet of beachfront estate. Stunning, stunning property as you can see and a terrific location because of its location near Diamond Head. Then we also have a small one bedroom, Diamond Head Sunset. Um, so if, you have a, if you're not a large family and you're just a couple, this is a really cool spot um, to be in. It's condominium style, um, but great value, great pricing, great location, and a lot more room than what you would get in your average hotel. Moving on to Maui, Turtle Cove, three bedrooms, sleep six. Can you imagine the views when the sun's coming up and the sun's going down? Again, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful property, incredible sunsets, very quiet, very relaxing, um, and just a really cool property. <clears throat> now let's move to Kauai. This is a stunning modern property, six bedrooms, sleeping 14 people, Brand new, a beautiful infinity pool, which you saw in the prior picture. Lots of areas to spend time in. And it's a very short drive to golf, dining, and shopping. But you know what? What if you're not interested in, in Italy or you're not interested in Hawaii? Well, we have villas around the globe, all throughout Europe. So we're in Italy, France, Greece, Spain, Portugal, Croatia, London. We're also all throughout Mexico. We have a little bit of British Columbia, Canada, all throughout the Caribbean, Asia. We're in, um, we just added two weeks ago, ski villas in Japan. We are also in Thailand and we have a beautiful uh, array of product in Central America. So let's look at some of these villas. Let's go back to Italy at Villa Cornelia in Sicily again. <sighs> That is a breathtaking view. Well, let's say you want to be uh, treated like royalty. How about this beautiful chateau um, right outside of Paris? A, you could live like royalty. Or you want to go to Greece. How about this beautiful villa in Mykonos, Greece? Or you can go to Santorini. Or we have about 15 different locations all throughout uh, Greece. But mark this down. Frat Zetskos. Frat Zeskos right outside of Santorini, the best seafood on the planet that I've ever eaten. Moving quite along, we've talked about the Caribbean. So how about Arecife 35 in Punta Cana? Or we can go to St. Martin, Martin and uh, Amandara, fantastic villa. 
Or how about St. Bart's where we go to Stella? Or I, I think I'm sharing another villa in St. Bart's with you, Abbey. All of our villas with beautiful views because of the hilliness in St. Bart's. Jamaica, one of my favorites because it's one of the best values, that and Dominican Republic. Um, if you want a hotel style, we have villas in trial or, of course, one of the most popular destinations in the Caribbean, the Turks and Caicos and this beautiful seclusion in Turks and Caicos. Now let's go to Mexico, where we're all throughout um, Western and the Riviera Maya. So we're in uh, Cabo, we're in um, Puerto, Va Puerto Vallarta. Then, of course, in the United States, we had that beautiful California retreat, one of my favorites. Villa Salt Acres in Connecticut, Deer Valley in Utah, ski in, ski out. Orlando, you want to have a great experience with families and not go, uh, have to take a mortgage just to eat at Disney World. You can go to the grocery stores, have breakfast and lunches in your villa, have dinners out. Great saving, great value when you're in Orlando and only 15 minutes from Walt Disney World and about 30 minutes from Universal Studios another beautiful house in Orlando, going back to um, Colorado, one of my favorites in Breckenridge, the Bears Den. And let's jump to Thailand, where we have an, a stunning villa um, in Phuket. Or if you really want the best of the best, how about your own private island? We have many private islands, but most people know Sir Richard Branson's Necker Island in the British Virgin Islands, an absolute stunner. So I've taken you quickly around the globe, tried to do it as quickly as I possibly could so I don't lose your attention. But most importantly, again, we love our travel advisors. I cannot stress enough to you, you know, whether you book with Villas or Distinction or not, um, we'd love to have you as a client. But to me, it's more important for me to stress to you the importance of a travel advisor. We understand that Villas and Distinction without travel advisors, we would be on our own. And truly, I believe if you do not book with a travel advisor, you are truly going to be on your own and you're not going to get the best deals in the world and you're not going to get the best values in the world. So please let us know how we can help you working with Teresa to create these remarkable villa experience. Let me repeat our guest first approach, which means we will always put you first with everything we do. We are fortunate enough, there's an award that's given out every year. It's like the Academy Awards of, of the travel industry. It's called the Travi Awards. It is voted on by travel advisors. So it's not something that we can buy. And we have won the award as best villa company as voted on by our travel advisors eight consecutive years in a row. So thank you, Teresa and your colleagues for that. We offer a fully vetted and inspected and guaranteed product with 24 seven customer care. And to me, even more importantly, we are financially bonded and insured. So you know your hard earned vacation dollars are not gonna get lost when you work with Teresa and Villas of Distinction. And with that, I would like to say thank you, Teresa. We so appreciate your support. I appreciate the opportunity to come and speak to your, you and your, and your potential clients. And we look forward to welcoming you to a Villa of Distinction in the very near future. Lastly, a beautiful villa, a, a picture of one of our villas in Portugal. Um, if you have any questions, I know you will reach out and you will absolutely talk to Teresa. So thank you again, Teresa. I'm popping back on camera. Here I am. And um, Steve, you're a, pro, you're a pro at this. I had so many questions written down on paper before. Mm -hmm. And then you answered. I was checking off my list. You answered the majority of my questions. Awesome. But I, I, so you covered it. You are a pro at this. But I I'm, did write down a few questions. Sure. Private, private chefs, any villa, every villa, we can get a private chef. Yes. Okay, so 99.5% of the villas, we can get a private chef. Some of our villas, and I'll give you an example, um, in Montana, for instance, are very remote locations, and it is difficult to find a private chef there. That's going to be worth the cost. We can find the chef, but it's going to be so astronomical for them to come there. That is the 0.05% that we can't do it. But if you talk 
Italy or all throughout Europe or through the Caribbean or Mexico, even most of the United States and Central America. Yes, a private chef can be added as a as a, as an amenity for every meal, one meal, one day, two days. Again, as we talked in the beginning, what is it that your clients want? Give you the perfect example. When I when people ask me about Italy and they come to you and say, I want a chef every day. You know, maybe you want a chef every day for breakfast, maybe even for lunch, maybe. But you certainly, with all the great restaurants in Italy, as good as these chefs are, do you really want to have a private chef every night? I recommend the first night you arrive because you're going to be very tired from traveling all day. And maybe you do one more day while you're there. But, you know, really to do it every night, like in Italy, no. In the um, in Jamaica, for example, every one of our villas includes a full chef. It's priced into the cost. Why? Because there's not a lot of great restaurants to go to. So you're going to get a trained chef quality meal every single meal. Um, Dominican Republic, Mexico, many of our villas include full chefs included in the price. And that is why it's a great value. I'll throw one other point at you. So if you have a chef in the Dominican Republic, the average cost for food and beverage per person per day. So that's breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and your drinks. The average cost. You sitting down, Teresa? I see you are. $45 per person per day. You can't eat breakfast in a resort for $45. So you're getting everything for 45 Now, and that's just, you know, just the Dominican Republic, it varies where you go. You know, for instance, it, you know, I would say if somebody was asking in general, because you're paying grocery store pricing, you're looking at somewhere between 80 to $150 per person per day, depending upon where you're going in the world. But even that for three meals at the high end is still less than what people would spend, um, you know, for three out um, restaurant meals a day. Absolutely. Sorry, so, I digressed a little on your question. <laughs> That's okay. You're, like I said, you're good at this. You're a pro. Um, last question is, you touched a little bit on it just for Italy, but I want to talk about minimum nights required to stay. Okay. Um, Italy is Saturday, Saturday, seven nights. They can stay three nights. They can yes. stay five nights. They can stay off and on one night here, three nights there, but they have to pay for seven nights. What about other locations? Is there a minimum? You know, it depends on time of year again. You know, so like if you're going to the Caribbean, you know, over festive, for instance, yeah. is, you know, the Christmas, New Year's period. Yes, there's going to be minimums. Um, you know, it really depends. Um, I can do one night like a lot of places in the U.S. Um, I could do one night. Um, like you could do Los Cabos for a weekend. So you could do two nights. You can do the Dominican Republic for three nights. You can do Jamaica for four or five nights. So it really depends. But generally speaking, most places like seven nights. Um, and most places don't, you know, looking at this villa, is, for instance, in order to prepare this villa for the guests to arrive, we don't just go, well, you know, it was cleaned a week ago. No, we have to go in and we have to clean it prior to their arrival. So an owner is not going to want to go through the expense of preparing this entire villa for a one or two night stay. That is why there are minimum stays. But always ask. I mean, the generally safe, if you wanted to be safe, I would say five nights is probably going to be a good number to think about. But again, it'll fluctuate where you can do you know, less in some areas and more in other areas. But I think five nights is probably a good starting point for most people. Right. Well, you answered all my questions and I appreciate you take, I know you're a busy man and yeah. I appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to join me on this podcast. Mm -hmm. And if anyone is inspired by this podcast, please reach out to me. You can find my information on my website, honeymoonislands.com. It will be listed below and at the end of this podcast. And until next time, if you can dream it, we will create it. Bye. Bye, Steve. Bye. Thanks, Teresa. Bye, everybody. Look forward to seeing you soon.
Stay tuned for more episodes that will unveil new horizons and immerse you in the beauty of global discovery. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until next time, if you can dream it, we will create it.